Hello everyone, welcome back to Mystery Miners Program, a program that brings together interesting and unsolved mystery topics from around the world. This week we will be talking about the history of Myanmar, but more particularly we will be talking about a lost palanquin. I would say. This is the story of King Alaung Si Tu and his royal palanquin, one of the most famous kings in the Began period. If we want to talk about the royal palanquin, we have to first talk about King Alaung Si Tu. King Alaung Si Tu was the grandson of King Jesetha and was born in 1066 AD to his father So Yun and his mother Shui Ying. Alaung Si Tu, who was born with extraordinary character from an early age, ruled the Bagan dynasty from 1092 to 1167 AD when he was only 26 years old. In the history of Bagan, King Alaung Si Tu is described as a great and glorious king. King Alaung Si Tu's great power was so great that he was well known as a deity in the neighboring countries of India, Thailand, and Cambodia and had great influence over them. Historical records show that he sailed around the Malaysian Peninsula and the island of the Hall on his special palanquin. The historical record does not directly write about who exactly gave the special palanquin to King Alaung Si Tu, but the scriptures say that it was a flying transportation system that was given to him by the Indra due to his good fortune. It is said that the palanquin was a kind of transportation system that could travel anywhere. So it was said that King Alaung Si Tu intended to go to Myanmar and gave up only because the Indra forbade it. But no one knows exactly what the palanquin actually looks like. King Alaung Si Tu, who was serious about the development of the Buddhism religion, toured all parts of Myanmar while constructing the Pangdo U Pagoda. One of the most famous of these pagodas is in Shan State called the Inlay Pauno Uk Pagoda in Nyangshui. However, after the demise of King Alaung Si Tu, the special palanquin disappeared without any trace of any historical evidence. So where did this palanquin go? Where is it now? It is a mystery as to whether or not it disappeared as soon as the king's good fortune ran out as it was said to have been given to him due to the result of the king's good fortune. King Alaung Si Tu was a glorious king when he was alive, but at the end of his life, he was killed by his own son, Nara Tu. So King Nara Tu repented of his actions and built the Damara Ji Pagoda to wash away his sins. According to history, this construction made it impossible for needles to be inserted between the bricks and that's how precise and intricate the construction was. The ancients say that when the pagoda was built, the interior walls of the pagoda were completely closed and the architects responsible for building the rooms were executed. Researchers and treasure hunters estimate that the shrine of Demorangi Pagoda has two larger rooms than the shrines of other pagodas, one of which contained the items belonging to King Alaung Si Tu. Some believe that King Naradu had his father Alaung Si Tu's palanquin in the pagoda when the Demorangi Pagoda was built. So he closed the walls of the inner rooms and killed the people who built it. Are these assumptions correct? No one can confirm whether this is true. According to Buddhist scriptures, King Alaung Si Tu crossed the vast ocean using his special palanquin. At present, if the vast oceans were defined as a universe, the palanquin of King Alaung Si Tu would have been like a spaceship. One of the reasons for this is that the images taken by NASA, an organization that studies space science and extraterrestrials, were taken from different angles. In addition, the news that a UFO was flying over the Bagan Pagodas a few years ago and the fact that there were 
Large fields where UFOs can park near the Bagan Pagodas have strengthened people's perceptions. Another factor that raises the question of whether there have been a connection between Bagan and the aliens since ancient times is the belief that the Bagan Pagodas were built by a deity. The special palanquin of King Alao Sidhu remains a mystery to many people today as there are still unresolved issues in the world. So MI Radio fans, please share your thoughts on this topic in the comments below. Stay tuned for more on Mystery Miners in the future.